Hi students, it's Mrs. Bowles, gonna help you a little bit on balancing chemical equations. I think it's a great idea if you learn how to do it. So let's do some. First of all, chemical changes and chemical reactions have certain indications that they are occurring. Things like light and heat, formation of solids, these are all indications that a chemical reaction has occurred course color change as well. The property by which we balance is called the law of conservation of mass or matter and it basically states that matter can neither be created nor destroyed in chemical reactions, chemical changes, and because of that when you do a reaction if you start with a reactant of 4 grams and another reactant of 32 the total mass would stay the same given that you would capture all of the products, even if some are gases, the mass should stay the same. So the atoms can only rearrange, which means that whatever atoms you have to start of the reaction, you also need to account for them at the end of the reaction. And that is the way that we go about balancing chemical equations. So we count up the reactants, and we count up all the products and we make sure that those two sides have the same amount of particles. And that's what balancing is all about. So basically we count the number of atoms and what we're allowed to do is not change any coefficients, numbers at the bottom. We only, I'm sorry, not change any subscripts, the numbers at the bottom but we are allowed to only change coefficients, okay? That's the key.